Okay. Well, good afternoon and welcome everyone. This is a celebration honoring Debbie Schaefer's 24 years as director of the Epworth Children's Center. And Debbie will be leaving the Children's Center this month and will be truly missed. Many new adventures are ahead. Please, if you would join, uh, stand and join in the prayer printed in your bulletin. Dear Lord, thank you for allowing us to gather here today for this joyous occasion. Bless this happy reunion at which we ask your blessing upon each of us. We ask that you give a special blessing to Debbie as she travels her new road ahead. Amen. Amen. And you may be seated. Well, we want to start from the beginning. And Dottie Jo Henson and Susan Emery and many others had a dream of starting a daycare that would include preschool and kindergarten. What a challenge they had ahead of them. But I'm going to let them tell you about it. And Dottie, if you would be first. Oh, there's this little stool back here. <laughs> sure, well, that's, <laughs> that's right. Hello, my name is Dottie Johansson, and I want to briefly take you back to the beginning of the Epworth Children's Center. While I'm talking, take a look at a few pictures. See if you recognize anyone. In 1988, Reverend Jeff Jones was approached by a local child care facility who wanted to operate at Epworth. At one of our Council on Ministries meetings, this was discussed and determined that the community did indeed need a reputable daycare center. So why not look into operating one ourselves? Susan Embry and I took on the challenge. We went to the ad board with our idea and some plans for operation. The ad board gave us the permission to pursue the project, and we were off and running. Susan contacted the county and the state for the rules and regulations, and I started looking at the fellowship hall for what work would have to be done. We had a core group of helpers. And if you're here today, would you please stand? Bud and Ann Hamilton, Bill and Greg Cavanaugh, Reds and Mary Lou House, and rest his soul, Frank Watkins. There were also many members of this congregation that helped us along the way. Rooms were configured, cubbies were built, an office established, the entire hall was painted, a new sidewalk had to be put in, a playground was constructed, and we had to hire a director. All of this was a team effort and was a labor of love. We would all work at our paying jobs during the day, and several nights a week, as well as weekends, we would meet at the church and work for hours on these projects. Many of us would then meet at TCBY for our planning sessions for the week. Now, not all of the congregation was in favor of the daycare. Some felt it took away their fellowship hall. So, to accommodate everyone, early every Sunday morning, we would move all the cubbies, followed by rugs, tables and chairs, and several rooms of daycare equipment against the walls. We would then set up the tables for coffee hour. Afterwards, we would reconstruct the daycare rooms for operation on Monday morning. As with any new venture, there were always bugs to work out. One of the major problems occurred when there was a heavy rain the fellowship hall would flood with water, coming in under the double doors. And any of you that were around during that time, you know exactly what I'm saying. 
Off in the hall would be soaked from the nursery room to the choir room and halfway to the kitchen. So the call would go out and many hands would show up with brooms, wet vacs, and fans to remove this water so that the center could open the following day. This was a terrific amount of work and often occurred in the middle of the night. Now, I have to make a comment here. Remember, we were all 25 years younger <laughs> at that time. The first director was replaced in the fall of 1991 by one Debbie Poole. What a great move that was by the ECC board. I would now like to introduce my partner in crime, Susan Emery, and Debbie, we all wish you the best in your well-earned retirement. take you back to 1991, a young, energetic, and cute recent college graduate applied for the job as our Children's Center Director, Debbie Pohl. She had just graduated from Villa Julie College, it's not called that anymore, but needed, we needed fresh energy, ideas, and just her energetic spirit to keep our very new center growing. At that time, we had a three and a four-year-old program. Debbie quickly added an accredited kindergarten program and a before and after school program. She created a professional educational program for us with growth of new students and stability in our current enrollment. We grew to more than 60 students in a short period of time, and Charlie Lovelace had to pay up on the free chocolate milkshakes for the board when that happened. Debbie was instrumental in adding a dance program and a Bible program for the students. The children loved the field trips that she added, the Mother's Day luncheon, and the Thanksgiving luncheon. Charlie Lovelace was a board member, along with Paul Lehman and Wayne Sutter, issued the payroll. And I believe that Jeff Jones and Bill Brown can fill you in on the later years after I left the board. I have to get my stool back out. And I'd like to <laughs> introduce Jeff Jones from the very early years. No, 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 leave the stool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There, I feel better. Hey! I think we had a whole platform over there for the uh, delighted to be here to tell you that uh, we want to thank Debbie for all the years that she put into uh, guiding and directing the school, and I remember all those early, we had tape on the floor so everybody knew where to roll the things back to. So that, uh, and one of the early things that happened is that we had an annual Shrove Tuesday pancake supper. And when the uh, Children's Center took over, that made it very difficult. We didn't want to have to do two trips completely out and completely back. And um, Steve Cornett, the new owner of the McDonald's and Cranbrook Shopping Center, and I had become buddies. And so I was lamenting the fact that I love pancake suppers, and it was too bad we can't have one this year, breaking a tradition going back to Epworth's all of his history. And he says, well, you could have the pancake supper at my place. And so he cleared out his shop and closed it except for drive through and did the pancake supper for Shrove Tuesday at the McDonald's. He had so much fun doing that on behalf of all the things that we were doing that he went out and bought another table for cooking the, the hotcakes and the next year called his head, the National McDonald's headquarters and they sent a TV crew out here and so every 15 minutes at the break they would go live to the McDonald's in Cockeysville for the Shrove Tuesday Pancake Supper sponsored by the Epworth Children's Center, etc. It was a lot of fun and they would break in live and interview people at the table, etc. Backing up just a little bit, I was on vacation or out of town when Debbie was interviewed and I get this frantic phone call, you have got to come meet this lady. You have just got to come. I think we finally found our director. And so I cut short whatever vacation I was on and showed up. And as soon as I met Debbie, I knew that what they were talking about. She was the right one to bring the energy and encouragement and excitement into the life of the Epworth Children's Center. And I'm delighted that that was, uh, got to happen. 
One of the things that she needs to be complimented on is how well she prepared the children and with the teachers in the program for school. I was PTA president at Pedonia Elementary School and the teachers would thank me on a regular basis for how well prepared the Epworth Children's Center graduates were for school. And so it was a delight for me to be able to know that they were receiving the kids that moved on to the Pedonia Elementary School were right on top of things and ready to go and well prepared for school. And so Debbie, that was a, a part of your um, contributions and participation and support. And I really thank you for that. Um, several things happened and I'm delighted to be able to participate in this. Um, Debbie and my paths have now crossed several times. After a while, she invited me to do their wedding. And then she came back and said, you know, that was so much fun. Will you do my brother's wedding? <laughs> and this year, 2015, I get a call from one of Debbie's friends. You did Debbie's wedding. You did Debbie's brother's wedding. Would you do my wedding? <laughs> so thank you for continuing to <laughs> pass on recommendations. It's going to be a lot of fun. But it's just the, great to be able to be here to see. I can't believe it's been 24 years. That doesn't seem right but uh, a chance to celebrate that uh, we discovered that there were um, a lot of children in our community and that needed the help of getting a good start and that we had such able-bodied folks who were really willing to jump in and you saw the pictures. People just really uh, moved heaven and earth and a lot of earth <laughs> and water and other things uh, to make it possible for us to get a good start. And just before I left Epworth Church, we put together a building committee so that the addition could uh, be put in place so you'd have all of the room you needed for doing what the program needed to do. So thank you for the opportunity to return and share, and I look forward to our celebration and uh, continued blessings on you in the next adventure. Bill, you're not going to need this stool, I don't think. <laughs> so I'll move it. He moved, he moved my stool. <laughs> well, next on the program was going to be a number by the choir, but really, we're just too few in number. So we are going to ask everyone to join in this song. Everybody knows it. It's a small world. Hit it, Joe. <laughs> I will pull it back out when I leave. The song reminds me, it is a small world. Yesterday I was running in the Baltimore 10 miler with a group of my friends, um, running friends, and one, they took our picture and one of them posted to Facebook and Debbie was a Facebook friend with her, Sam, and commented that I was running in it. And Sam says, oh, do you know Debbie? I said, oh yeah, I know Debbie very well. She goes, you know she's Jewish. 
said, well, since I worked with her for seven years, yes, I do know that. And she goes, oh, you're that Bill Brown. So I guess I don't know what you told them, but... So I've been asked to talk about growing time, and the only way I can describe how I feel about the growth of the, um, make sure I don't call it my church's one, what's it called? Epworth Children's Center, no yawning, young lady, um, is it's attached to the growth of my daughter. I think I was the first pastor here at Epworth that had a child in the Epworth Children's Center and just to watch her grow as the program grow and to be able to spend every day just a few steps away from my own daughter has been a blessing. I think it was also a blessing for the teachers because they knew if she was bad they could bring her to my office. (laughs) During that same time, in addition to the growth of the program here was the growth of Debbie. And I don't mean up. I mean, out. I believe it was you. (laughs) And so to have both our daughters together in different classes but in the same program was always touching. Another growth area was the growth of my daughter's language while she attended the uh, preschool here. Thank you, uh, Mrs. Donna. I don't know if you taught her this, but one snack time. Tori was brought up to my office because she had turned to Miss Donna and said, you know, Miss Donna, after taking a bite of a very cheap store-bought chocolate chip cookie, she said, Miss Donna, this was a damn fine cookie. (laughs) Thank you, Miss Donna. (laughs) Appreciate that. (laughs) To be able to watch as your daughter attempts to do ballet, um, attempts to do tap dance, and all of the other wonderful extra opportunities that they had here just as a parent you're just overwhelmed with the joy although at times I was accused of a few things for example when we first started making DVDs of Christmas programs parents would wonder why the camera was on my daughter the whole time (laughs) and I said because I was the camera operator but it cost extra if you want the camera on your child I also remember every Christmas, every epiphany, um, my wife Michelle and I would host a Christmas party, and it was always based on our summer vacation the summer before. And why I remember the party so well is because at every single party, Mark had to spill something. (laughs) It was usually a red beverage that was in a fluted glass on a light-colored carpet. We got less for our resale on our house. Thank you, Mark. (laughs) But the joy, and I say this often, was having the best job in the world. Because every day, I got to bring my daughter with me to work. Every day, I got to have lunch with her. Every day, I got to see her grow. Every day, I got to play with and interact with kids. And it doesn't get any better than that. And I thank you, Debbie, for the opportunity you gave Tori. She would be here today, but she's at a fundraiser for her chorus with her mom. She has fond memories of kindergarten here mostly, but just I have the most fond memories of being able to watch my daughter grow, and that's because of you. In the Talmud, which is a collection of Jewish ceremonial law and legend, there is a saying, Debbie, that says, if you want to leave a legacy, if you want to have an impact on this world that lasts long after you're gone, plant a tree, write a book, or have a child. I don't know if you've planted trees. I know you've had a child. I don't know if you've written a book. But you have had an impact that will last long after you're gone, and that is every single student that has walked in the door and the lives you have touched, and how they are changing lives because of you. So God bless you, and thank you. He forgot the stool. Reverend Kim Hall would have loved to be here. She was a former pastor. She is now a U.S. Army chaplain, and she's stationed in Germany. 
but she sent a letter to you, Debbie, and M. Ann Hamilton is going to read the letter. Do you need the stool, Ann? <laughs> she actually wrote a very touching letter, and I hope I can read it. <laughs> Dear Debbie, when I received an email from Linda indicating you were retiring after 24 years as the director of Epworth Children's Center, I thought, how can that be? She's only 35 years old, you see. <laughs> but here you stand, ready for the next chapter of a wonderful adventure God has in store uniquely for you. I am so full of joy as you make this transition, but I also know that it will be bittersweet, not only for the folks at Epworth, but also to the surrounding community. You are a beautiful person, Debbie, both inside and out, and you will be missed. I second that. <laughs> I can recall when I first met you when coming to Epworth, you exuded such warmth, grace, intelligence, and a genuine dis disposition in every sense of the word. It was also quite obvious that you spoke about your role of the Children's Center, that, that there was a deep love for what you did. It wasn't merely a job for you, but rather a passionate call to mold and shape the lives of the little people under your care. I appreciate the fact that you were hands-on. When the children had various programs, field trips, and the like, you were there, worrying about them, correcting them, cheering them on, consoling them, and also being fiercely protective. You not only wore the director hat, you also wore the mom hat, and I think that is pretty awesome because it showed you cared. I used to always say that if I had children, I would send them to Epworth Children's Center, and I meant it. Lastly, there is a quote I came across, and I thought of you. It reads this way. It takes a female to have a baby. It takes a woman to have, raise a child. It takes a mother to raise them correctly. It takes a warrior to show them how to change the world. Debbie, you are that warrior who has influenced the lives of so many children and in doing so, helping to transform the world we know it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Debbie, for your leadership and your commitment to providing excellent education, nurture, and love to so many children over the years. The seeds you have sown will truly reap an abundant harvest. God bless you, Reverend Kimberly, Kimberly Hall. <laughs> And now Reverend Trish has a few words. Do you want the stool or the microphone? I'll test it. It's not I can do that. Is it on? Yes? Okay. Uh, I'm Pastor Trish, for those of you I haven't met. And I'm sorry for my long walk. I brought my foster son with me, and he was sleeping in my office, so I had to sit in the back in case he started crying. He's awake now, if you want to see him later, Debbie. Uh, I just wanted to give voice um, and say thank you for the last gift that Debbie has left us with, which is helping us to look towards the future. Debbie came with tears in her eyes to tell me uh, that she had decided to retire, and I cried with her a little bit in my office and promised her cupcakes, which we will eat this week, you and I together. The really good ones, too. Um, but then she helped weed through all of the resumes and helped pick out the very best and helped us to uh, interview them and helped us to choose one. And um, it was awesome to see her care for what she's leaving behind. Um, I think the greatest gift that Debbie gives us is that um, the future for our Children's Center looks just as bright as all of the work that you have done to build it. So I thank you for that, for leaving us in such a good place. And um, I'm going to come visit you and bring you cupcakes. Okay. 30 seconds. Yes. And now we really are going to sing, and I would like all of the teachers, former teachers, the alumni, Debbie, people who have worked hard, pastors, up in the front, we're going to sing a song, and you will all know the words. Don't be shy. I need... Come on down.
sure this will go just like we rehearsed it. <laughs> <laughs> You turn her on. Again, and we'll keep on with our program. Thank you, thank you. And at this time, Debbie would like to say a few words. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so twice a year, as many of you know, I come up here for our holiday program and then for our end of the year program. And I keep it very short because the parents are not here to see me, they're here to see the children. But now I have to tell you I'm so overwhelmed with joy to see all of you that came here to see me this time. And it means so much to me, and I, I really do appreciate it. Um, so I've spent almost half of my life here, and have traveled this part of my life path with all of my Epworth family, all of you. 25 years ago, Dottie and Susan had an idea, as you know, to develop the Children's Center based on the goals of providing a safe, nurturing, and educational environment for the children. I'd like for Dottie and Susan to stand again so that I can thank them <laughs> for giving me this wonderful opportunity. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> the humble beginnings of the school began in the fellowship hall of the church and evolved into this beautiful school that we have today. All of this has been made possible by the dedication and selfless assistance of my Epworth family, starting with the wonderful pastors. Thank you to Jeff, David, Bill, Kim, and Trish. Five pastors is a lot for me to go through. I'm starting to think it's me. <laughs> no, but seriously, all of them have been wonderful. They've all, in my opinion, added so much to the school, to the church. I've been honored to work with each and every one of them. It's been a real pleasure. Um, thank you to all of the ECC board members. They've provided me with support through the years. They've helped to guide me. They've given me so much strength. I'm so fortunate. Um, I want to thank some of them, Linda and Milt, um, Steve, Glenda, who was our treasurer from the beginning, or almost the beginning. <laughs> She's here also. Um, Mary Palmer, who was in the church for a very long time. Um, all of the other board members on the Children's Center, I'm so appreciative that you have helped me all these years. Um, I also want to thank the um, members who are no longer with us, but very close in my heart, Paul Lehman and Joyce Ramirez, who have helped guide me through all these years as well. Without the group that we have, the teachers, I would never have been able to do any of this on my own. 
Um, I also want to thank Pam Weishi. Pam, if you can just stand for a second, please. I'm so honored and touched and surprised that she is here. When I was on maternity leave, Pam stepped in, and she just and had a lot of fun, did a great job, and I am honored that you came here today. Um, if the teachers that have been with me, that are here today, can stand, I'd really like to appreciate, give them a round of applause if they can stand. <laughs> I really enjoyed working with them. Um, I'm so happy that we've all been able to learn from each other. They're so creative. They're full of energy. We have become friends, and that I'll always have. And I, I want to thank all of you for that. Um, finally, I want to express my um, deep gratitude for the parents um, and the children who have made this job such a joy and pleasure for me. I love coming to work every day. <laughs> These children, some of the children, I just found out they're married. They've graduated from college. You know, it, where does the time go? But I, I'm so honored that you let your children come here to Epworth so that we can help to mold them and be a part of their life. And it's just amazing how I don't know where the time goes. But <laughs> um, so, and like this path, I'm entering into my next stage to retirement. I will be able to spend some more time with my family um, and pursue some personal interest. Um, I've never thought of myself as an employee of Epworth. I've always considered myself a member of the Epworth family. And I really appreciate all of the kindness and support that I've received from all of you through the year, um, through the years. One last thing that I just need to add is that when I started here, we did have an accredited, we, we had a kindergarten program, and the teacher in the kindergarten program, her name was Susan, and she actually introduced me to my husband, Mark, and that was the greatest gift, one of, from, that I have got from the Children's Center was to be able to meet and to marry my husband, Mark. So. Um, all good things have happened since I've been here, and I'm so happy and just appreciate all of you supporting me. And I will miss everyone, but I'll be back to visit. So thank you. Thank you, Debbie. And now Kelsey McGee, representing the ECC board, has a presentation. For On. So yeah, and I have become a teacher, so thank you so much for everything you've done for us. And this is from the ECC board, just some flowers and a small gift. Even if and Debbie, this song is just especially for you to be sung by Joe. May the good Lord bless and keep you, whether near or far away. May you find that long-awaited golden day today. May your troubles all be small ones and your fortunes ten times ten. May the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. May you walk with sunlight shining and a bluebird in every tree. May there be a silver lining back on every cloud you see. Fill your dreams with sweet tomorrows, never mind what might have been. May the good Lord bless and keep you 
till we meet again. May you walk with sunlight shining and a bluebird in every tree. May there be a silver lining back on every cloud you see. Fill your dreams with sweet tomorrows, never mind what might have been. May the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. Thank you, Debbie, for your service. Uh, the Schaefer family will leave first, and uh, we have an usher back there. I saw Steve very briefly. They made it off the road, and uh, he will direct uh, the Schaefer family and our ministers downstairs first, and then uh, the um, ushers will let everyone else know when to go outside. If you would stand, please, and we will say our benediction together. May the Lord bless and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you peace. Amen.